I watched an interview and she introduced herself as Tarja, but the interviewer kept calling her Tarja and she didn't correct him once. So if it's all right with you, I'm going to call her Barry. Only joking, I'm going to call her Tarja. And if you've got any issue with this, please take it up with Tarja. Thank you very much. I've done five Nightwish reactions on this channel so far, but they've all been with Floor. And if you haven't seen them already, please check them out. They are arguably the worst Nightwish reactions on YouTube. See what I've done there? Reverse psychology. I've never done a Nightwish reaction before with Mrs. T, so I'm going to kick things off with her final live performance before she was booted out of the band. I don't know the exact reasons why. I don't know the politics, but this video has amassed 52 million views, so it can't be that bad. So come join me as we listen to Nightwish's cover of Phantom of the Opera. Booyaka Shah. She looks amazing. She's got incredible cheekbones. All of the band do, actually. I don't know what it is. Finnish people, they're extremely pretty, aren't they? Male and female. Anyway, despite her being dressed in yellow here, in the interview that I watched, she said that her favourite colour and her daughter's is black and she loves Metallica. She was destined to be in a metal band, wasn't she? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, they, they, they've gone already. is crying as well is he no Marco, to me, in this specific performance, he sounds like if James Hetfield did opera. From my research, I know that Tarja is a soprano vocalist, which means the range generally fluctuates between B3 and C6 on the keyboard. Look at me, I know some shit. She said in the interview that I watched that growing up, she was bullied for about five years at school because the girls envied her due to her voice. She was known locally as the girl that could sing, and for her, music was her escapism. For me... Masturbation was my escapism growing up, but I can't sing, so I've got no excuse. It's a great cover of it. I love that chromatic drop and rise and drop. <laughs> Love Marco. I am the mask you wear. My feet they are here. Your spirit and my voice. They work really well together. Great contrast. Brilliant. She really is brilliant.
In preparation for this video, I did find out that before Taja joined, they were originally a mood acoustic band. And upon hearing her when she did a demo, Thomas decided that they needed to expand and build the band around her because her voice is huge. And I'm so glad they did because can you imagine if they ended up sounding like, I don't know, Mumford and Sons, Coldplay or God forbid, you too. I've actually got a joke for you. What's the difference between Bono and Jesus? Jesus doesn't think he's Bono. He's really underrated, Marco, I think. I also like Empu's choice and voicing on guitar, the way that he has really sexy guitar dynamics by palm muting and then just playing lovely sustained guitar chords. I think he's an excellent guitarist. I really, really like his playing. I've said it in previous videos, he does remind me of like a, a heavy metal Dave Gilmore. The most Metallica-esque. Marco. <laughs> I, I don't know what to pay attention to here. I'm a guitar player, as you guys know, so I'm paying a little bit more attention to the squills and the pinch harmonics from Empu versus listening to Taja's incredible voice. So I'm actually going to go back five 10 seconds and uh, just hear her belt it out and focus on this fantastic vocalist. Epic. I'm really hot and sweaty. What I subsequently found shocking about this performance was that it was Taja's final appearance in the band and they decided after her leaving or getting booted out, whatever way you want to look at it, they decided not to perform it live again. And I don't think they played it live again until... 2022 when they played it in Amsterdam with Henk Port 17 years without playing this cover and they do it so well they really do it justed it's an amazing cover and I can now see why this video has amassed 52 million views because from a Nightwish fan perspective I can see why a lot of them would want to watch this because they're reminiscing about the Taja days it's a, a screenshot a moment in time but not only that it wasn't performed for donkey's years. So if you've enjoyed this video, kindly give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe if you want to see some more. But until next time, thank you so much for watching. Look after yourselves. Hopefully I'll see you very soon. Bye for now, people.